Hi, my name is Hamid. I'm a certified instructor at ASMED.com. These are our home pages. On the top, if you go click on information technology, that takes you to here, and we have a bunch of Amazon classes. Uh, we offer all the Amazon classes, uh, solution architecture, solution architecture professional developer, and other topics, DevOps, advanced networking, everything like that. And also, if you go on the top page, you see blogs. So we have Amazon website. We have Amazon blogs right here. So right now, you're going to see Amazon blogs right here. Okay? And these are the Amazon blogs that everything is going to be here. So later on, it's going to be, I'm going to post it here. So what we're going to do today, today I'm going to do lab. It's called Amazon AWS configuring WAF to block IP address. Okay? So that's what we're going to talk about. What is that? Amazon WAF is a web application firewall service that helps you protect your web app from common exploit that could affect, affect app availability, compromise security, or, cost, or consume excessive resources. Okay, so it's kind of like a firewall is for Amazon. In here, we have a lab. We have two instances called Web Server and Linux Web Server 1 and Web Server 3 that are part of application load balance. All of this has been configured for us. The goal is that my IP address, which is I'm going to use my home IP address, which is my laptop is, will not be able to see this website. Okay? First, I'm going to show you what I have for two instance. So when I go to console right here, we write down the EC2, I have a two Linux server, okay, right here, okay. Now I want to come to the left side. I on the left side I have load balance. I have created what? One application load balancer. When you come down, if I copy this long DNS name right here, when I copy this and I go new tab and I right click paste go, so this is my application load balancer. When I click refresh it, it goes to web server one and web server three. So I have created this application load balancer. And also on the top, I have route 53. I just want to let you know what I have. I have created a record. I have a domain name. Again, you don't need to have a domain name. I just want to show you what I have. The inside domain that I created what? A record. Point to this. So what I did is I click record says. I put alias. Then I click here and I pick what? Application that I click create that. So that's what we have. So if I type in, instead of this long DNS name, if I type in my domain name, which is what? Hame2019.com. This is the domain name I've created before. So Hame2019.com is going to take me to the same website. Okay. Right now, as you see, I can go to this website. After I finish the web, I should not be able to go to this website. That's the goal is okay. So that's what's the step two. When I go to the so left side, I copy paste long DNS, I will be able to see both content of website after refresh that shows a is working good okay and i have created a record on route 50 that i can use domain name so life is good so far now goal is to block this guy so that my home pc which is i'm going to show you as example will not be able to see that so what i'm going to do i'm going to WAF, click configure web acl on the concept overview we see what we can do click next and we call a web deny acl so so let me go there. I go back to my console right here. I go to services. In here, I type in what? WAF. Okay. We click here. And then we're going to see what WAF is. Okay. See, Amazon WAF is a web application firewall service that helps you protect web app from common exploit that could affect so on. So I'm going to click go to AWS WAF. Okay. So the first thing you have to do, we have to go step by step. We have to create a web access slide, then we can root, then we have condition. Now under condition, you have a bunch of these choices. The one I'm going to focus is IP address. You can do geolocation, you can do SQL injection, but the one in this lab is IP address. So first I'm going to create what? Configure web ACL. When you do that, you have it, you have to do condition first, then you have to do rule, then you have to what? Custom rules. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to click next here. Web ACL, I'm going to give that name. I call it Web Deny ACL, okay? Now, what are we going to do? I'm going to put a region Northern Virginia. That's what I'm going to do, okay? Then here, I'm going to pick Resource Application Load Balance there, okay? Then I'm going to pick what? Application Load Balance that I had it before here, okay? So remember, we had it back to here. If 
if I go back to EC3 and we go back to here application load balancer this is what I'm picking right now so application load balance has been created for us okay you gotta do this part first again I've created a lab before that you can watch how to do application load balancer all right back to here then we're gonna say what next okay so here as I told you condition we have what Christ site description condition geolocation condition IP match condition we're gonna focus on this one we have size constraint condition we have SQL injection match condition string and regex match condition okay so but what we're going to do we're going to create create condition for both IP match condition that's what's in my notes let's go back to my notes again pick Northern Virginia then pick resources which is application that and then click next now we will create condition we will see in the video we can pick all of this again you could have Christ script match condition we can do geolocation, base of country or location, IP match, and so on. But we're going to do IP match. Okay, click create IP match condition. Okay, we're going to give it a name, which is my home PC. Okay, control C. So we'll go back to here, click this one. Okay, we're going to give what? My this. We're going to pick it on this region. Now you want IP for Now you have to put which one of IP address we want to do. In order to do that, what I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the Google type in what is the so right now I went to Google type in my IP address and that's my IP address right now 100.15.97150 so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go here put that IP address right here so let me copy that I'm gonna put it here at the keys whenever you put it here you gotta put a slash 32 slash 32 means that particular IP address if I put a slash 24 means block of range so that's the slash you gotta make sure add IP address on that range okay and click what continue okay so we did this for the IP match so let's get our notes next step okay so it's a put above IP address on that a slash 24 means block and range of is big IP address but if I want a particular IP after a slash 30 okay now we click next and then we wanted to create a rule on next page you create a rule and call that home pc rule okay then we're going to add a condition to that one so i'm going to go back again to my here i go down click next now here what i have to do i have to create what rules i'm going to give it a name home pc rule for example in here says fine that's fine now here you have to pick careful when does this which one does and then here it says what origin from IP address in so this is a condition and we select my what IP address shows up right here okay so that's a condition so we're gonna call this so when a request does come from this IP address that's the rule I create that okay that take me to next level which is block then I have to pick this one if a request does match if I'm sorry if the request does not match any rules take the default action that means if it doesn't match any rule default action means what allow them so here's your block and you pick this one that's why I said my notes right now okay then you create on next page leave it as a block then for default action pick the first one so that's why I did right here okay so you leave it as a block and that one. Then we're gonna say review and that. So right now it comes here. I'm gonna review the page. This is my home rule block. This is what applying to resources right here. Okay. Then we're gonna say create them at what? Conform and create. That's gonna take a little bit of time to create that. Okay. So let's go my next. Click review and create. Then take the next page. Then you read it and confirm it and create that. Okay. Now go to the left side and click on web access rule. Then click on web deny access and then go to tab click rule. Then you should see all this information. Okay. So let's do that as finish. And this is coming up. It's doing right now. Let's wait until this is finishes. All right. So it's taking time a little bit right now. Let's hold on a second. Okay. 
so that one right here I go to web access loop right here that's what I was saying that go to what web deny access list okay all right this is some kind of activity which I've done in the past okay then go to rule tabs all right so that's why I see the rule tabs I see this one rules this one rule when I click here that's going to point to my IP address okay let me go back again to this let's go back to here okay rules tab this is what uh, block okay block requests and this is default action and this is resources okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to test it right now now let's try to access website by either copying and paste the long DNS name or load balance into your domain name you should see the forbidden line like that so let's go back again I go back to my what right here load balancer I go copy this long DNS right here copy that I go open new tab paste and go see forbidden okay or if you type in that domain name which was Hamid 2019 right here if I click that see it's forbidden so it's working good right now okay all right hint when you click on the web access on the left then you might see few name on it when you click one of them then go to tab rules and then at the bottom you will see add association then you see this you can associate only one access list with a specific resource if different web access is already associated with the selected access resources the association will be updated with these web accesses let me show you what I'm talking about what I'm saying that if I go back to here see in here web access is right here right here I see only one of them when I click here when I go to rules I see only one that now if you have a bunch of other if I create a bunch of more what create a web access for five, another one another one and this guy can only be one of them that's what I said look at this add associate make sure you know this you can associate only one web access with the specific resources okay if a different web accesses is already associated with the selected resources the association with updated with this web access what that means let's say if I create another one here if I associate that one this is going to associate to one of these guys okay all right that concludes our lab Again, if you have a question or comment, give us a number. This is our website, asm.com. Everything I've done that is going to be on the about us, on the blogs, under what Amazon AWS. When you go on Amazon AWS, is going to post it here. Okay. I hope this was informative, and let us know if you have questions. Our phone number is 301-984-7400. Thanks so much for watching us. Bye bye.